Hey everybody, out in the shop today and we're gonna work on putting a full compressor on this guy. Uh, really bump up the air assist, help it cut better. So let's take a look at what's necessary. So I've got all my parts here. Um, everything was ordered off of Amazon and I will, I'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and line everything out here in this video. I'll put all the links in the description of everything that you need. Um, all, every, this whole box and that guy. Um, that's what's gonna be the lungs for my machine. So I wanna outline what we got going on here. So first of all, this is just our quarter inch quick coupler that's gonna jump into the new compressor. Um, so it'll just basically where that hose is going, it'll be able to fit in there. Um, then it comes down to one of these uh, quick connect nozzles for this blue hose. That blue hose will go from the compressor over to this regulator that also serves to kind of just filter out all of the, the air through and get water out of it. Um, so we'll put this together and it will have these on either side. We won't even actually need these. More blue hose from this side out to this solenoid. The solenoid will then be wired up to the controller on the laser. And when the jobs start on the laser, it will open up, run the air. When it ends, it'll turn off the air. So it will be automatic air, it won't just be running all the time, especially where it's gonna be a compressor running this. It will shut off the air so it's not just leaking air the whole time, unlike the, the air that is currently on the laser. What is currently running the air for the laser is this pump. And once it's on, it's on, like there's not even off switch for it. Um, it just runs. And so we're trying to get away from that, make it a little bit more automatic and give it a little bit more PSI so that we can make cleaner cuts. So this is what we're gonna be getting rid of. And then uh, it will be this whole new setup will take its place. All right, now that I've got all of this together with plenty of Teflon tape, hopefully everything's gonna be nice and airtight. Uh, the only thing is left to run basically the blue hose in between everything. Um, so obviously this will be on the compressor. Um, this actually goes in between. Um, so that way it can control the pressure getting to the solenoid. And then the solenoid will be wired using some of this wire to the laser. Uh, one of the things that I've got to consider is where I'm going to mount these things. This will go on the laser and then this will actually go probably on my workbench underneath um, in between the two. I did, I have a piece of scrap that I think I'm actually going to mount this to because there's this, this fitting right here that will get screwed to this board. The top of this goes and actually slides into here with this nut that kind of fastens the three together. Um, so I'm going to find a place to, to mount this board. So here on the back of the laser, it is dirty. <laughs> 
So you can see there is a water inlet, water outlet, and air inlet. So this is the one that we are going to remove. So I'm gonna take this off, and then we're actually gonna take this fitting that sits in here out as well, because I'm just gonna run, I'm probably gonna attach the solenoid here, and then just run all my lines right through this hole. Um, and on the other side, you can see down there where this black tube is, right there, that is where that inlet comes in. So we're gonna end up just cutting off that black tube and it's actually gonna attach to our solenoid that we have. Um, so we're gonna go take that off. Okay, so now I have removed the hose off of that and I've opened this back access door. So that little nut that we're gonna work on is right in here. So you can see that right there. So we're gonna work on, I'm gonna cut that hose and then I'm gonna unscrew that, that nut. Okay, so that is what came out of there. This is the little nozzle on the outside that had the hose on it. We unscrewed this, that all come out. And now I was able to pull this black line out through here. So the black line, we're actually gonna go and connect that to the out part. So this upper part of the solenoid and in we'll take the blue hose that we have. All right, so now I got my box of wire ready and all I'm gonna be using is red and black because there's two poles on this um, solenoid that will actually go into here and we can actually unscrew the cap of this so we can actually screw those in but the wires will come out and I just got to figure out how much wire I need because the wire is going to travel through that hole with everything else and then there's all these wires back here that are tucked in go all the way back here through this hole into the electronics so there's that hole right there and then it's going to run across there and then down to where the controller is and we are gonna wire into these ones right here. So this 24 volt and the wind, those are the two that need to be done. And I've actually got um, some of these little connectors that we're gonna use and we'll get that going. So now I'm just gonna stretch out my wire to just get how much I need. Okay, so now I've got my wire run all the way through, tucked away, put away where it's supposed to go. Um, so we're going to take this little case off and strip some wire and get it in there so that way it is wired up. And it doesn't matter um, which side you put these poles onto, all it's doing is basically finishing the loop. And as soon as it does that, it opens up the solenoid. So it doesn't really matter which side you put these on. These actually are gonna run through this guy right here. All right, so now here we are on the other side of the laser and I've got one of my little connectors and from what it looks like, where this is gonna go right here, I need these top two. Uh, I'm gonna put red here and then black here and we'll get these things plugged in and working.
Now that I've got everything mounted up and I've got the solenoid wired, I just need to figure out the length of hose or the, the blue tubing that I need from the compressor to the regulator and then from the regulator to the laser. Um, because basically every, everything inside of the laser we just reused. We reused the black tube so that way it'll go right out to the nozzle. Um, so I'm gonna get those pieces cut and then probably the last thing we have to do is do some configuration changes on the laser so that way it knows that we have air assist and to turn it on and off as we start and stop cuts. All right, so we got everything ran. Blue hose is going up. It's tucked right there all the way around. And then I put a couple little Velcro straps right here and then down into the regulator. Regulator is hooked up to the cylinder on the back of the laser. So now we'll go over and we'll change the settings and do some tests. Okay, so now I am got everything back to where it belongs. The laser is kind of where I usually have it. Got everything hooked up to light burn is what I'm using. And so you're going to want to go to edit. You're going to scroll down to machine settings. And granted, this is after your laser has been connected and everything you know that it's working. You'll see that it read the controller. And you're going to want to go down to vendor settings. This guy right here. And then you want to find enable air assist output. You're going to change that to true. Oh, it didn't change. There. Change that to true. And then you're going to say right and OK. All right, so now I have dialed this regulator into right around 20 PSI. Um, you can hear my chiller is running, um, but no air is flowing. You don't hear any air here. Um, normally when it was just that little pump, it just runs all the time. So the idea is that when I hit go on the, the, the file that we're gonna run, we're gonna hear that sucker turn on. Um, so I have the actual laser tube, the power to that all turned off. So all we're gonna do is I'm at, I drew a box here on Lightburn. So you can see that here. And then we'll look at the settings. It has air assist on, so that's green. And we're actually gonna change this to just draw a square to line. And we can slow this down so that way we can make sure that we're hearing that run. We'll go to like 10. Okay, and so let's hit start and see if that fires up. Oh yeah, heard it right off the bat. Nice. So there you heard my compressor kick on. All right, now that's a wrap. Uh, so now recap, got the compressor hooked up, solenoid hooked up, so the laser can turn on and off its air all on its own now. And I can dial in the pressure that I need for engravings, cuttings, you know, whatever, uh, just using the, the pressure regulator that we added. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'm gonna list everything that I used down in the description. Uh, I am an Amazon affiliate, so any little bit helps me out. So go ahead, click away, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.